morning. Just thought I'd do a quick update. This is a load of stuff. It's covered up with snow because it's frosted and snowed last night, but went and picked up a load of stuff for the old crawler. So I got the idler wheels there. I got some brake bands. I got um, fuel tanks. Some of the um, covers for the clutches for changing the lock on the tracks. Which, um, steering clutches. That's the ones. We've got sprockets. We've got some other bits off some other tractors. Um, we've got another diff. We've got two big flywheel uh, crown wheels as well. That goes on the back axle. Um, and there's that. It's FD 6037, I think it's a serial number. Um, and then in here, as you can see, all the tools are out the rover. A load of goodies in here. We have a load of bushes for the tracks. Um, we've got a full bag of them, so we we'll have to do at least one track anyway. I think these are handbrake discs, but I'm not sure. I've got springs, I've got seals, um, I've got that, I've got loads of um, these. I wasn't sure what these were to start off with, I thought they were bearing races, but they're not. What they are is basically those bits. You sweat them off, I guess, and sweat a new one on. Um, so I've got loads of them as well. Start and handle, pins, uh, what else have I got? A few of the fifth wheel things. Um, and also in here, oops, also in here, I've got a complete two rows of, in, underneath all this, um, is track plates. This was right there. Um, so, the project for the Fordson is, or well, the crawler, is nearly underway. We'll go and have a look at the crawler. It's a beautiful sunny day. So, here I have another old track piece, another bit there, um, which my plan is, is to take them apart and sort of clean them up. Um, track plates aren't too bad on this one. Um, so, I got two more of these to go and pick up. So this whole assembly here, except the idlers on the front, I have to use these bits. But other than that, I've got the whole whole assembly um, to fix up. I need to get new covers for these. I'm not sure how exactly it all works and how it all goes together, but I'll find out. I've got to somehow make up um, a plate to hold this on and find bolts to go into there for the other ones. Because um, these ones are quite rusted. I'll take the tracks off. We're going to strip all of this out inside here completely. Um, take the seat out because the seat's twisted and buggered. Take the mud guards off because they're buggered. Um, and take strip the thing back end down. So the plan is, is we're going to, once we get the county going, um, we'll put the A-frame on and pick it all, pick all this up. And we're going to tow the crawler out straight out through there. Take her for a good tow, free up everything, and then hopefully. Um, sort of sorted out that way like this one's quite bad she's uh, nearly rotted right through um, but I'll take all the track plates off take the track chains off and I'll put the track chains hopefully in a liquid thing sort of free them up is the plan anyway this engine's got to come off the gearbox um, can stay on at the moment but we're putting a top link on it and cover um, so uh, all this will come off and the Fordson style will go on where they're bolted onto the, you can actually see, um, where they're bolted onto the side down here, um, you have an eyelet. Makes it a bit low, so the plan sort of is, is possibility of maybe um, uh, making up a tow hitch for it. So it's a little bit higher than the standard one maybe. Don't know yet, I haven't really thought about it. I'm not too worried. I more just want three point linkage on it. I've got an engine in the UK that will be on its way down in the next month or so. Um, so, this engine I'll take out, I'll take the covers off the gearbox, check the gearboxes over, uh, hopefully, get a new radiator for it. I'm not going to get no bodywork yet until I get it all put together and make sure she moves. And then, once she moves, I'll get all the bodywork for it and, and whatnot. This is the donor tractor rear end. So this is all the hydraulics that's going on to that one. Um, 
So basically we've got a, this engine's gonna go in this engine in that Super 4 eventually. Um, it does run or it used to run. So hopefully we can get it sorted. But this one doesn't have a tow hitch. So we gotta find a Fordson tow hitch system, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because I don't have one. Um, I have the piece at the bottom there, so it's not too bad. But I need to find the rest of the assembly um, for it. So I thought I'd give you an update on that. Once I get all the spares and all that unpacked, I'll get back to you and show you all what I got. I've also got way down in a container on the side of the road. I've got another load of stuff, um, which is uh, for the crawler and some odd parts for the four drives. Um, but I don't have any four drives. There's only one here. And I'll hopefully get a video of that for you chaps later on. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy and uh, take it easy. Here's all the track plates, 44 of them. A couple of springs. Uh, three fuel tanks, side boot, sprockets and gears. And all the steering clutches and brake assemblies and some rods and shafts.